Okay, it seems a bit late in the game to me, but um, they're giving us a tutorial on facilities. Um, okay, this time, your big sis is going to explain to you about facility cards, okay? Um, facility cards are played out into the field just like mission cards. But, um, unlike missions, when you build two facility cards, you will only get one victory point. Huh? Um, so why should we build them? Well, facilities, um, when you build them, you get some kind of advantageous effect. Um, well, don't worry, just believe in your big sis. Let's just try building them for now. Okay, so we have a library. And that's your hand it will become, you can hold up to seven cards. Um, if all of your libraries are destroyed and your hand limit will return to its original limit and if the number of cards in your hand exceeds the limit then you have to discard cards in order to get back down to that normal limit. Um, so we'll try and build a library. Okay, so Kiba is my leader, even though he doesn't have any construction. And then everyone has two, so I'll use Cornell. Um, Gordon. And finish up with Yuzu. We did it! Um, the facility is complete. Um, when you build a library, your hand will increase up to, you can hold up to seven cards. Um, facilities are great, right? Well then, um, let's choose a character to leave with the facility. So let's leave Cornell. Um, your hand limit has become seven cards. Huh? Um, our VP went up by one. Why? Oh, I see. Because Dio is the supreme commander. In this deck, um, other than the 50 cards in, in the deck, um, there's a supreme commander card. If you build a single facility, then you get one VP. Um, there are many different effects for Supreme Commander cards, um, and you can put them out into the field during duels. But um, you can only play Supreme Commander cards. Um, you can only play the same people who are from the same camp, like this, who are the same alignment as your Supreme Commander card. Um, so be careful of this when making your deck. Also, you can't play out um, a character or leader into the field that has the same name as your Supreme Commander. So if you're able to work around these um, negatives and use them well, then they're sure to be very useful. Okay, the enemy is trying to build a rune master, which gives all characters with runes attack plus one. Um, all characters on your side, that is. So look, look, the enemy is trying to build a facility as well. But it's okay. Um, we can destroy the facility they're trying to build with our attack power. In order to destroy it, you have to um, give as much damage as is displayed in the attack power um, section. Well then, put out a leader. So we have Genge as our only leader. And then... ID has attack of 3, so I'll put her out. Okay. 
then we only need three more, but no one has enough, so I'll use Tuckle. And finish with Nina. This is a tutorial, so I think it's designed so that it's pretty hard to get wrong, but um, we did it. The, the facility is broken. Um, um, so we can relax for a second. Okay, um, this time it's our turn to build something. With our hand now, um, we should be able to easily build a facility. So the facility we have is a rune master. Ah, um, he's trying to get in the way of our construction. What an annoying guy. Um, if this happened, um, let's get let's get the construction done um, quickly before they're able to destroy it. So, Gijim is my leader. Um. Tetsu has construction of three, so I'll use him. And then I only need one more. I'll use Jess, because I really like him. <laughs> okay, mission clear. Um, escape is the skill. Um, cards that would be discarded are returned to your deck. And I have to leave a character, I'll leave Jess. We did it! Um, our second facility complete. Um, so that means it's victory for us. By the way, so did you understand everything your big sis had to tell you? You say, yep, or I didn't really get it. And um, we got a Hannah card, which is not really necessary. Um, how was it? Did you get it? Um, make sure you remember it well and become a great leader. Oh, that's right. Um, everyone is assembled in the Great Hall. Seems like there's going to be some other complicated story again. So, if we go to the Great Hall. Oh, you come, Dio. Um, everyone is discussing it now, but we have to give this castle a name. Um, do you have some kind of good name? Think about one. So, I'm going to give it the name I always give my castles in Sukoden, which is the same as the name I gave my brigade earlier in the game, Sanzu. Sanzu, um, Castle Sanzu? Mm, isn't, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, a good choice from Dio. Um, um, D Lord Dio, I will explain what will happen from now. Um, Please listen, and I want you to make a decision. Um, well, what's with that scary face? Um, first, Lord Dio, please listen. The Highland Army, which has already crossed over the country borders uh, into Meuse, Two River, and South Window, um, they have already taken over towns that form the centre of the city alliance. But um, opposition against uh, Luca Blight is strong. And in any of those cities, um, confusion abounds. So to put it another way, this represents a chance for us. Um, in that the Highland army um, kept up momentum in occupying the towns. Um, for that part, their forces are quite scattered. Um, in particular, right now their defences are weak at um, Two River and South Window. 
um, there's opposition from the citizens of the town, and they haven't assumed a strong defensive stance. Lord Dio. Well then, um, I recommend that we attack, start attacking either from Two River or South Window. Um, which we shall go for, I ask you to decide. So you can say Two River, South Window, or hang on a second. 